Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right. It is Wednesday and we are hanging out at Lake Kewakini State Park. Can you see that? Can you see it now? Also, some folks have called it Lake Kawakoni State Park. It's Lake Tawakoni. It's an Indian, Indian name. All right. Got a little red, the high speed mobility scooter. I have the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens Mod, but most important, I have you. This will be a second scooter tour. Second time I've done this scooter tour here at Lake Tawakoni State Park. My previous visit was in the middle of winter. Everything was dead. Now we get to see lots of greenery. Not a real huge state park. We'll stop twice next time. We are breaking the law, breaking the law. Apparently that goes down to a park residence. I'm not sure. All I know is that it's closed to the public. So if you're gonna come to Lake Kawakini State Park, be advised there are Argentinian ants in this park. So you want to bring your Argentinian ant control product of your preference. I like triazoside granules with a little broadcast spreader. So we're going to come back to that road. That is one of the two camping loops. We're going to go do the mostly pull through site first day use area boat ramp and then we'll finish up on that RV camping loop. That is a park coast. And I did not have to teach them about the Americans with Disabilities Act. Now this is the only loop that has pull throughs. Of course, there's, there are only two loops. This one has both pull through and back end. There are some truly pretty sights in this campground. This is actually a really pretty campground. Lake Milwaukee is a really good fishing lake as well. Now these are double sized as well as this one. So there's three double sized out here. Four. I can't count this morning. So there's four double sized. But they all four have water access. So if you need water access, those are actually the better sites to get down to the water. Uh, most of the sites here are very level. You won't have too much problem getting level. It is a Monday. Uh, Monday, May 
12. May 12, Monday, 2022. There are a lot of full connection sites here. But if you don't have to have a full connection site, the bathrooms are really clean. The water pressure's good. I took a shower last night. I did not, you know, it's not one of those push button time out showers. You just turn on and get showered off and turn off. It's a Hollywood shower. On my last visit here, I was hanging out with the Sunset Seekers, Mike and Christy. Let's go check out. Now there's a supposedly a group primitive camp. I haven't found it yet. There's, there's not a paved road to get to it. It's over here somewhere. There's a nature trail, so maybe it's down there. I don't know. We do have a beach. Which is right there. Duck! Told you to duck. I'll give you another look at the beach. So now you can see it. It's kind of weedy. And since this is such a great fishing lake, you know there's gonna be a good boat trip. The four laner. And then a more more of a day use area there. Fish cleaning station dead ahead. Now, they're on the, up, up the two camping loops. The one that we just toured actually does not have a shower bathroom facility. You share it with the day use area. We'll stop twice next time. Then over here, We have, this, that's just more day use area. That was packed solid with people yesterday, Mother's Day. So we can go check out the last camping loop. Now they do have a, I, I failed to mention, there's a fishing pond for the kiddos. Here, let me swing over here and give you a look-see at that. Well, there's your swim fishing hole for the kiddos. I, when I was here last, I fished that and caught nary a fish, but I was entertained by a, 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 a water turkey. <laughs> and hinga is what they are called. All right, I'm gonna have to do a double take on this loop because they are bi-directional. So you're going to be focusing on the left for now and then we'll flip around and go back the other way. I don't 
think there's I don't think there's a bad side in this this campground. Uh, there are some that might be a, a, over here a little bit harder to get level if you have a, a big motorhome. Those are two handicap sites that are great. You can see there's Trudy Thunder and White Lightning. This is going to be the most private campsite, private of loops. And the most private of private sites, maybe right there. Or, and I'm thinking, if you if you want the most private site, it's going to be this one right here. Moving right along. We are still looking on the left. Sites 14, 13. 13 is a good one. It's a big wide site. Still checking out the inside of the loop. Oh, it has, it is very gusty today. I was out on the little boat this morning and the wind started kicking up, blowing so hard it was dragging my anchor. All right, now it's time to turn around and go back the other way. We're going to look at the outside loop. Now, not all of the outside loop here has water access. The water access really starts about here. So these sites actually have trails going down to the water. Almost all of them on that little loop have water access. Now if you want good water access, this site right here. And we'll, we'll come back and we'll close out on that one. That's actually where I put, I have the boat. These are all great sites. back around the loop again so let's go back to the the one site the one site if you're gonna ask me what's the site that you want in Lake Kewaukee State Park this it's not the ideal elevation but there's a trail that takes you just a short ways down to the cove and the water there it's about six feet uh, no four feet deep at the bank and in the middle of that cove it gets that down, down about 10 feet and there I caught that I caught a couple fish there today all right We've returned to camp.
Hey, if this is your first visit, I really appreciate you stopping by. And if you haven't already, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have subscribed, let me tell you, that's why I do what I do. Thank you so much. That's why we're out here checking out this beautiful, beautiful Texas State Park. Thank you for that. And for my patrons, thank you. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?